As you just saw, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump dominated the GOP debate on CBS tonight. It's an outsider political campaign very similar to the one that elected former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. And as Pat Kessler reports, Trump once came to Minnesota to find out from Ventura himself exactly how he did it and possibly do it himself. Minnesotans already know Trump the disruptor. I was going to say they're full of but I won't say that. No, it's true. They it's learned it from Jesse Ventura. Uh -huh. Werewolves of London. Ventura's inaugural ball, a rock concert. As governor, he made money on the sun. That's right for your old man, you little bastard. As a foul-mouthed WWE referee. Ventura created the modern anti-establishment, anti-media, anti-career politician. As we shot the world! Ventura's win was so shocking that Donald Trump came to Minnesota to see for himself. It's almost uh, like you reading our playbook. Dean Barkley was Jesse Ventura's campaign chairman, who Ventura later appointed to the U.S. Senate. Barkley engineered Ventura's impossible strategy, similar to Donald Trump's today. He had very, very high negatives. Nobody took him seriously. What we had going for him was his personality and his ability to uh, connect to people. Trump's curiosity brought him to Minnesota in 2000, arriving in his now famous Trump jet and a white stretch limousine. At a Brooklyn Park fundraising event 16 years ago, Trump first revealed his outspoken style, so familiar today. I watched the debates last night. I mean, tell me, are these people stiffs or what? Give me a break. Trump was considering his first run for president as a third-party candidate, trotting out politically incorrect talking points, like this one about the difference between him and the 2000 Republican candidate for president, George W. Bush. One is somebody that is a member of the Lucky Sperm Club, and the other one somebody that made money. You know, I think there's a difference. Like Trump, Jesse Ventura brought in new voters who previously were not involved in politics. And like Trump... Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Like Ventura it. said things no other politician could say, and it didn't hurt him. Well, two weeks before the election, he goes off on his own and says, well, I think... We should legalize drugs and prostitution. Now, any other person saying that, the typical politician, would have gone, bam, they had been dead. But Jesse went up in the polls. There's no way Jesse Ventura should have won, and Donald Trump wanted to know how he did it. He's obviously studied what we did. At a private two-hour meeting at what was then the Northland Inn in Brooklyn Park, Barkley and Ventura broke down for Trump their month-by-month -month campaign strategy, from media to money. Our whole theme for our campaign was retaliate in 98. Anti-establishment, we're not one of them, we're different. And Donald's doing the same thing. Like Jesse Ventura, Donald Trump's campaign was at first considered a joke. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. But now Trump won New Hampshire and is leading in other states. Ventura telling us last year it's no joke how voters are responding. I maybe don't stand with him on all the issues, but I love what he's doing. Governor Ventura said last year he considered being Trump's vice president if asked. More recently, Ventura said he is considering running for president himself as a libertarian.